Oh my god, we don't need weapons. No! <laughs> hey guys, what is going on? We're going to be running the weirdest Hades build you can probably possibly run. The new hail weapon, two ECU shields, fortifier module, armor kit, and a last stand. I thought, man, the composite Hades must be the coolest looking robot in the game as I made the video on it already. But why not try to just confuse enemies at this point? I tried to put an Ansel on this robot, but I guess Pixonic just doesn't let you put an Ansel on the Hades because you already have the other shield and you can't really combine shields. But that whole rule is kind of dumb because they don't let you put like the Ansel on the Hades because they don't want you running two shields. But then you can use the drone and have that, you know, safety defense net shield that pops up and whatever. Even if you're running a shielded robot. So it's kind of a whole mess. But anyways, we ran this build and honestly, I'm not even joking. We had some success with this thing. We used pilot skills and we had like, you know, the legendary pilot emphasis on a longer range with our built-in weapon. Our ability damage does more damage. And, you know, we got an upgraded Mark II level 12 hell. So, let's try this thing out. Um, you can clearly see here, this was a clip on Valley Map. And it didn't do too bad. We were running around a lot. And the Hades is very underrated with its mobility. People forget that this thing can move. It can haul. Alright, um, trying to get through here. And half the time, I'd kind of forget that they even have the ECU shields on this robot. Because obviously, you have to turn into the weapon shooting at you. One thing is, flamethrowers absolutely torch this thing because they go right through the EQ shields. But with a pretty short cooldown time on the ability, it was pretty a good combo. Ooh, that guy's ability went off. We didn't take any damage there. That, that was a bit weird. And I will be showing you guys the full game coming up, which was pretty intense. We got to work with this thing. So you can see, we're getting healed up by a, a Nightingale. We're moving. Oh my god, I was just going to push that beacon, but there's a Sharanga there. That is one robot we pr probably cannot take out. And if you saw at the beginning, one of... The EQ shields is Mark II level 12. The other is just level 12. So I forget which one's which. But I didn't feel like upgrading it all again with gold and wasting gold on it. Speeding it up. Oh, I don't even know where to shoot. Ugh. And I was thinking about running the Devastator, but I was like, yeah, why not use the new weapon to kind of match the Hades design? The composite Hades. And do you guys agree that this is the coolest? Uh oh, we gotta take it this out, June. Oh, somebody stole that kill. We totally had that one. One of our ECU shields is turned off. It's broken. Not turned off, it's dead. But do you guys agree that the composite Hades is probably the coolest looking robot ever in the game? I wish they made it even more old school, though. Like, make a composite Griffin and give it 20% durability buff. Oh my god, we don't need weapons. No! <laughs> we were just supposed to take out that Aujun, but we didn't. our weapons fell off. Okay, and then here's a quick clip of me absolutely destroying this Minos. Boom, out of there. Alright guys, so let's play this game on Abyss here. So, let's drop in right away with our Hades build. So, take in, we do have one heavy armor kit with 340... What is that? 343,000 uh, HP. So our HP is not low, but we don't exactly want to get in. I guess like we have no choice in getting brawling 1v1s. What is that? Naroshi there? We do have a pretty long range though with our built in weapon. Okay, you know what? This probably isn't the best idea. We're just going to run in there. We're just going in, dropping off this bridge. Uh oh, my teammate is dead, and this guy got the beacon. Ooh, I think his last stand's triggered. Whoa! 
Oh, I didn't realize you could do that. Actually, maybe I did. I don't know. We were going to teleport, but then we just kept walking. Uh-oh. This other guy is going to... Okay, now we're going to teleport. Teleport! Teleport! We're taking too much damage and we're suppressed. I think this Roshi's coming through, though. Boom! That was perfect timing. That Roshi th thought he could follow us through the teleporter. And we cooked him. Toasted. Okay, let's hit our healing. Let's get our he health up a little bit. Alright, double kill. Jeez. How many kills do we need for this thing to be worth it? If we get like five kills with the Hades with one weapon, two ECU shields, is it officially the best build in the game? I mean, we're just trying to confuse the enemy because if I was an enemy and I was seeing this thing on the battlefield, I'd be like, what drugs is that guy taking? He's been putting some, uh oh, triple kill. We're putting some pressure on their spawn. And remember, the Hell Weapon is very good at locking down and freezing enemies. So that will help us out. Oh man, we almost got that kill. Uh oh, they're going to push forward a bit. Yeah, I'm hoping team enemies see us and they're like, oh, that's an easy target. He must be an idiot. He's running two ECU shields. And that's when we surprise them and destroy them. Uh oh. See, this is actually really useful. When hawks shoot at you, they don't even really bother to keep shooting at you, at your ECU shield, just because it's too boring and, like, it'll take too long. Oh, we definitely could have taken that hawk out. You know what? Let's get him. We're getting him. Boom! Alright, we took out the hawk. I guess my teammate took out that Aujun. Double kill, man. We've gotten five kills now with this thing. We've gotten five kills with this weird build, weird Hades composite build. Okay, let's see if we can take out this Blitz. If he has his ability, it might be a little more difficult. Locked him down. Come on. Cooked him. Ooh. Jeez, that ECU shield probably can't take much more damage, but man, we have six kills with this one weird thing. That is a Fenrir. We probably cannot take out the Fenrir. He's going to wait out our ability. Uh-oh. We're done. Ah. Okay, it's okay. We're going to stay calm. We are staying calm. We just, we definitely got our money's worth on that Hades. Jeez. Six kills. Okay, this hawk is dropping right into us. Oh, we just pushed him back, or I did, I think. Okay, we're doing pretty good here on the beacon bar. Okay, our team's got four beacons. And let's teleport across to see if we can grab their be their last beacon. Because I think we have this game pretty well under control here. Jeez, the amount of hawks I'm seeing in Champion League is so annoying. I'm starting to really dislike the... Not the hawk, the shellbot. I'm starting to really dislike the shellbot. I know I'm running it right now, but... It's just so hard to kill. It's, you have to get through all those physical shields. A good amount of durability. Then players are running cloaking units, last stands, phase shifts, drones. And it just takes forever to take this thing out. To be honest, I feel like Pixonic doesn't account for robots with upgrades. They think of robots in their base model, because a base level shell bot, it's not super overpowered, right? You you can kill it, just break through its shields, hit it with rockets, flamethrower it. But then when, when you add a phase shift and a last stand and all those things, it gets so annoying. But, okay, we got the win there, guys. We did it. We did it. Let's check our damage. 1.8 million. Ah, it's not a ton, but that was only with the Hades, pretty much. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. Don't use that build at home. That was dumb.